Hello, Deirdre here again. So I don't think I've seen a video yet. My name is Deirdre. I write and sing my own songs. I just write lyrics, I do my music, and I sing my songs like a cappella. I also do stories. I like short stories. I read them out loud. I do poetry here and there, and songs that are on my own. Like I did one earlier. So if you have any videos, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, yeah, this one, uh, second one, video I'm doing today is two short stories. The first one is called Moving On. Moving on from a sad event after you lost somebody and you end up, you know, you have to move on when somebody passes, even if somebody very close to you. Uh, I lost a great deal of my, uh, in my life. Um, my hair is still around, but even if you lose somebody close to you, if, even if your mom or your dad or even if some as a cousin or your mom's brother, uh, you have to move on. And sorry if I'm moving on, but please enjoy a short story while moving on. Written and recited by me, dear Jeff. I was walking along a beach, along a majestic ocean. I couldn't see starfish and water playing. It made me laugh. It took my sadness away from last night. I remember how, how it went down. I was coming out of school when I saw the crazy crash. I could hear the sirens on its way. I ran to my dad as he was being pulled out of his car. Daddy, I cried. He came back looked at me and told me they were sorry. It's not true. I didn't want to believe it. I can't imagine my life without him. I closed my eyes. So I could awaken from his bad dream. I opened up and it wasn't a dream. It was real. I didn't lose my face though. I feel at peace here at the beach. I know he's in a better place. You see little kids blowing bubbles? I know. I will feel better eventually. Right. I hope you enjoyed that little, little story about losing somebody, losing somebody close to you and moving on. Because everybody has people close to them and it's very hard. You know, I'm going to see them again one day. <laughs> Alright, the next short story I'm going to read for you is called um, The Show Must Go On. And it, it's different, but it shows you that um, when, when you're, when you're in, like, your first show on Broadway or in the theater, and you will um, get little butterflies, you know that you have to go on the show and the show must go on. So yeah, so please enjoy this one. Before she walked onto the stage, she felt nervous. Kristen was the best actress of today's biggest Broadway stars. How could she feel nervous? She said it almost a dozen times. When she got to the theater, she told herself, I can do it. It's not my first show, anyway. Everybody was telling her there isn't anyone like her. She had her to please her cast and crew and audience. She knew her lines. She knew she can do this. Right. Before the show started, she was nervous. But she said, the show must go on. So with a deep breath, she walked onto the stage and the show began. When the show ended, when the show ended, she was happy with herself. She did it. Yeah, so even in cases where you've done it before, you're still nervous. They can go both ways, actually. And yeah, I have a whole lot here. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to do one more short story for you, and then I'm going to call it a day. So please enjoy the next one called A Perfect Day. It's Saturday, and my mom is driving me to the park. I can't wait. When she drives up, I get so anxious. The car stops. I run out. And I feel the air on my face. The playground is right there. So I run right to it. The grass is very green. The sky is a deep blue. And sunshine's on this perfect day. I run up the stairs to the side. And I down I go. When I come to the stop, my mom is right there to make sure I am okay. She helps me up and raises me up to the monkey bars. Helps me across. They aren't scared to do it by myself. Then she passes 
me on his wing. I forget we do it all over again. Before we leave, I run down the hill. His mom supervises. Now the sun, we're sitting. Wow. It is beautiful from here. Leave and mom asks, did you have fun? And I say, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's, I'm just going to do three for you. I will, um, he will definitely, I will have a title for you, for you, in, either in the description box or in the actually probably in the title box. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the three stories. I hope you enjoy the different messages from the three ones, all, all, from all three ones, about moving on after you lost someone, about even if it's your first time in a show, or even if you did before and you get nervous, the show must go on. And I don't think it was the last one. For a second. So, but, but, you know, it's about a little kid um, or someone older coming back to a park, and even if you're older and you're so scared, and your your mom is terrified because. You love the playground. I always love the playground, even as a grown up. But yeah, everybody ha does. Playgrounds are fun. But yeah, like a little kid, like living, like playground on a perfect day. I feel like it's a fun one, fun and dare. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy all three for three. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great blessed Sunday, blessed day, and thank you for watching.